We'll see what happens this year. Well, we'll start with the Best Actress yes, category. Yes, Best Actress. Here are the nominees. Here are the nominees. Sandra Bullock, Helen Mirren, Carrie Mulligan, Gabor A. Sidibe, and Meryl Streep. Who do you think will take it? I think, honestly, Meryl Streep should win for her performance as Julia Child. She hasn't won an Oscar in decades, but I think it's Sandra Bullock's year, and she will take home the Oscar for Best Actress. I know Gabor A. Sidibe is sort of a sentimental favorite for some, but just not the performance on the not level enough, of Not enough, especially Bullock. for Streeper Bullock. All right, let's move on to the Best Actor category. Yes, here we go, Best Actor. The nominees are Jeff Bridges, George Clooney, Colin Firth, Morgan Freeman and Jeremy Renner. Who do you think will take Morgan this Morgan Freeman was great as Nelson Mandela. I also like George Clooney and Up in the Air. But I think Jeff Bridges is going to take this home for Crazy Heart. It was the toughest role. He had some physical demands. I even saw this movie and liked his performance. So I think he will take home the Oscar. I know a lot of people are talking about this as kind of a comeback performance. For I think him it's a well. comeback performance and also a comeback for performance for Sandra Bullock. So well, this could be a good acting year. The next category is one I think you know a lot about. Absolutely. Best animated Best feature. Best animated feature, my personal favorite. And the nominees include Coraline, Fantastic Mr. Fox, The Princess and the Frog, The Secret of Kells, and up. The Secret of Kells, of course, the big surprise. And my favorite film of 2009, Fantastic Mr. Fox, is nominated. I hope it wins. It should win. But Disney Pixar is going to win again for up. So one of your favorite films this year was The Fantastic Mr. Fox. Yes. Right? Yeah. You, wh what grade did you give that? I gave that a B plus, and I also gave up a B plus. Uh, I think Up is going to take it home. Uh, a little disappointed by Cars not winning a few mm -hmm. years ago, but Disney Pixar has since made a comeback. All right, let's move on to Best Picture. For the first yes. time, there are ten films ten nominated films this year. Ten films haven't done that in a very so long time. A lot to choose from. Let's get yes. up through them quick. Avatar, The Blind Side, District 9, and Education, and The Hurt Locker. Also, Inglorious Bastards, Precious, based on the novel Push by Sapphire, A Serious Man, Up and Up in the Air. So of course, tend to choose from. Yes, a few surprises this year. The Blind Side, District 9, Up being the second animated film ever to get a Best Picture nomination. I think it should win, and it would go down in Oscar history and would be a great moment to happen in the Oscars. But I think it really comes down to Avatar and The Hurt Locker. I just don't think the Academy is going to like Avatar because it didn't get acting or writing nominations, just all those effects. So I'm going to say The Hurt Locker will take home the Best Picture. Well, I hope that uh, you are as accurate this year as you've been in the past, and I know that you'll be watching closely. I hope so, yes. March 7th at 8, 7 central on ABC, and I hope I do very well, because it's tough to beat four for four, honestly. Yeah, well, you look good in your red carpet look here Thank today for us. Thanks much. for dressing up.